<laughs> oh man. Hi everyone, it's Melissa and welcome back to Four Quarter Crafts. Sorry, I tried so hard to do my spooky laugh for you guys. Um, I am back today with four different Halloween dollar store DIYs. Um, everything here was either purchased from the Dollar Tree or the 99 cent store. And I love Halloween, if you guys can't tell. So let's go ahead and get started with this first craft project. This is kind of like a three-dimensional stand. Um, you can really use it for serving anything, um, but I just decorated it. But let's go ahead and get started with the supplies. I used two uh, skull candy buckets, a bag of brown floral moss, two black and white checkered uh, steering wheel covers, I love those, two plastic skeleton heads, two round silver serving trays, two packages of battery operated lights, everything there was from the Dollar Tree. And then these items are from the 99 cent store. I have some miscellaneous kind of potion bottles and figurines that I'm going to use to decorate the top. So we're first going to start with our candy buckets and I think these are just adorable. I love the skeleton heads. Isn't that funny I'm describing skeleton heads as adorable? <laughs> but I loved um, the design on these. All I did was remove the handles. And I'm just using two for decorating purposes. I like one on each side of things. I'm kind of weird like that, but <laughs> you can make one or two your choice. Um, so now I'm just going to take my skeleton heads and place them at the bottom of the bucket. And um, this is showing you how if you wanted to just do it without the lights, you can do that. If you would like to use the lights um, like I am, just pull off the little tabs, turn your battery lights on. And then these are actually going to be sitting under the skeleton head if you want to use Use, um, these I just think it adds more of a cool you know kind of spooky effect um, but when you do look on the outside of these buckets the skeleton head looks three-dimensional but with the lights I just think it adds kind of an extra cool Halloween factor I don't know so if you're gonna use the lights you got to put the skeleton heads on top of the lights basically what I'm saying <laughs> so now we're gonna move on to the round serving trays I'm just putting my steering wheel covers around them. You don't have to. Um, I just love this black and white print of these. If you guys watch my channel, you know that. So I just wanted to add a little bit more black and white decor to these. And then basically all you're going to do is just set your trays on top of your skeleton bucket stands. And then I'm just putting a little bit of brown moss and then just using all of my little potion bottles and figurines to decorate it. So if you're doing any kind of Halloween party or anything, this would be really cute for displaying, you know, different jars of candy, or you can even do um, different types of drinks. Um, I can do, uh, drinks, you might want to be careful. Um, it is pretty sturdy, but you might want to test them out just in case we don't want any accidents. But um, really anything you want to display on these. And here I'm just showing you how cool it looks with the, you know, like three-dimensional skeleton specimen head all lit up in there. And then here is what it looks like like at night and these are the flickering uh, candles battery operated candles of course um, yeah so here is just an overall look and I am just obsessed with all of the adorable Halloween figurines at the 99 cent store that they have every year so I really just loved displaying everything Okay, so for this next project, we are doing this handheld 31 for October 31st sign with some little spider rings. So the supplies for this project is an unfinished wood frame, uh, some rhinestone spider rings, some white and black spray paint, uh, two wooden letter numbers <laughs> a three and a one and then two hand jewelry holders so all i did was spray paint white my unfinished wood my three and my one i spray painted black and then uh, these jewelry holders were hands they're not really halloween related but they screamed halloween to me when i saw them at the 99 cent store so all i'm really gonna do is add some of these rhinestone spider rings to the fingers that are on the outside so you can see them and then I took my three and my one. These were unfinished wood letters. I had already spray painted them black um, for a different project, but I'm just going to put glue on the portion of the white frame where the numbers actually meet the frame. So here on the top and the bottom where the one will actually be connecting to that part of the frame is where I'm putting the glue. 
And then all I'm really going to do is just set up my sign with these cool little velvety hands. Um, yeah, and that's it. So simple, you guys. And I know if you don't have a 99 cent store, you can probably find a lot of these items at Michael's um, and probably use a coupon as well. But just to get, share the idea of this project with you guys, I think it just turned out so adorable. And I especially love those little um, rhinestone spider rings on there. It just adds a cute touch. So this third project, I made this skeleton cloche and um, these were all from the 99 cent store. The skeletons on the sides as well as those little dome ones were from the Dollar Tree. But this was a super simple project and um, just kind of also adds to the creepy Halloween factor. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started with the supplies. So I just used this cloche that I got from the 99 cent store as well as this skeleton bird and then brown floral moss from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to start with my skeleton bird. I'm just going to move the wings out of the way and I'm basically going to cut them in half, which sounds weird, <laughs> but I'm going to cut them in half and then I'm going to take off that part of the tail. And then I'm just going to move his wings up so that they fit inside. And then this part of the tail I'm actually going to be using as little toes sticking out of my moss. So I just glued that to the bottom and then glued on the edges of where the bottom of the bird will meet the toes. So here is what it looks like at the bottom. And now I'm just going to start filling in all around the bottom spaces with the brown moss. And I just uh, want to be sure that its little toes are poking out. So even though this skeleton was too large in size to fit as it was. I just, uh, you know, cut it in half and made it my own and made it work for the purpose that I wanted it to. And I actually think it just kind of turned out really cute that the little bottom tail feathers actually look like little birdie toes sticking out. So all I'm doing is just filling in the rest of it and just putting some glue all along the empty spaces. This is the back part. I'm just filling it in. And there you go super super simple but just a, just a really fun neat little way like I said I just think that it's so cute with little toes sticking out of the moss and then I'm just gonna put the lid back on and then this one you just give a little twist to keep it in place there we go and all done super simple and also just another fun way to display this random skeleton <laughs> bird <laughs> but it's really cute so um here I just have it like I said those other items on the sides are from the Dollar Tree and here we go just one more look at everything and those are actually um like shakers the skeleton heads on the sides the like they're like snow globes you can turn them upside down and the glitter falls they're really gorgeous if you see them at your dollar tree you should get them uh, so moving on to this last project i made these frames with uh these sequins pumpkin stickers and um, i just have it against a uh, plastic black frame there in the back so the supplies for this project were two four by six matted frames four rhinestone spider rings and then these uh, sticker bats and then I used some of these pumpkin decorating stickers a package of the bats a package of the birds a package of spider and its webbing and then this faux leather notebook so all of these items are here we're from the Dollar Tree I'm going to take my faux leather notebook and I'm going to cut out the basically the front and the back of it because I'm going to be using these as the background for my frames just like that and so really I mean this is kind of self-explanatory I'm not going to go into all the details I'm sure you guys know how to fill a frame but all I'm doing is just putting some glue on the um, part of the matting there and putting it in each of my frames and then just putting the back backing back in so here's my frames and now I'm going to start with these stickers these are actually for decorating pumpkins but I thought they would be really cool for this project because you can actually just put the rhinestone stickers right on top of the glass. And I wanted to use this bird specifically because it's holding the white skeleton head. 
And of course, I didn't like the red eyes because it didn't match my black and white theme. So all I'm doing is taking some rhinestones off the side of the spider webs on the other one and just changing out the eyes. So, um, let me see. I'll show you again here in just a second. So here, I'm just taking off the red part of the eyes and I'm just replacing them with some little uh, white rhinestones there. Just to match my decor better. Okay, and then this was just a hot mess trying to get this spider web detached without it sticking together. So I just kind of said, screw it, I'm going to make it my own. <laughs> and um, just basically made the webbing myself. I did uh, some straight lines with the larger rhinestones. And then the smaller rhinestones I just kind of put in a curved pattern. And then I even took some of those black rhinestones from my other bird... <clears throat> my other, excuse me, my other birds in the beginning and just added it along the web. And then these bat uh, sticker things, I'm just going to put on, one on each corner with them facing in. Those were from the Dollar Tree and the rhinestone stickers were from the 99 cent store. So this is just adding that little extra, little extra special goodiness there. And then on my spider frame, I'm of course going to put the rhinestone spiders on each corner. So um, just another really fun and easy way to, you know, add that fun Halloween spirit all around your home. And I just have these displayed uh, with this plastic mirror. And all this was was a plastic mirror that I put a Halloween wall sticker from the 99 cent store. I just put that in the middle. So, I mean, you can really jazz up anything with all of these cute Halloween items that you come across. And whatever theme you guys like, you can definitely change anything up. Um, mostly, I just wanted to give you guys some ideas and some inspiration of how to make your Halloween decor your own. And um, that's pretty much it. But I do have, um, I think, a couple more Halloween videos coming up if I can get them edited in time. But as always, uh, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!